Test number one. Now, I've placed sensors in this dummy to register the impact of the nunchuck strikes. There is a good chance that this is how our victim was killed. And so, uh, Dr. Sharoyan allows us to do an experiment together to figure out if the nunchucks are, in fact, the murder weapon. Hi, I'm Chris Brewster. nunchuck guy today. You swung the right way, a nunchuck can easily, easily break any bone in the body. I'll show them how it's done. I've never done nunchucks in my life, as you can see. <laughs> so, there's the proper way, and then there's like the, uh, the TV way, the film way. And there's a nunchuck strike that actually looks bigger, so that's what we, that's what we learn. <laughs> it looks fun, it looks easy, but it is not. As you can see over there. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's great. You're gonna start by moving the arm just to get the line of motion. Why closer? Basically, wherever the thumb goes, the nunchuck follows. Oh! Imagine basically an axe. Show me that. The idea is to bring your right hand to the leg so the nunchuck kind of wraps around. One should never do this. Oh. This is the. Uh... That's it. Oh! Like step in and boom. And then when he goes, it's so hard. Hi. There it is. Good, good. It's very zen. He's got it down. I've got definitely bruises coming tomorrow. Here. Here. Oh. Oh. Looks like a Sorry. Good strike. <laughs> I'm working out. <laughs> Dr. Hodgins, with nunchucks, it's very important that you... Son of a... May I? Knock yourself out. I did. What, you some kind of Persian ninja? They're great. They picked everything up very quickly. This is for all the hard work you've nickname. done all over the years for us. Congratulations. Happy. I'm happy. Come <laughs> on.